Hi guys, welcome back to Cool School. Today we're reading chapter two of Twas the Night Before Christmas. In the last chapter, Holly and Gabe had been preparing for Santa's arrival. In the middle of the night, they heard noises on their roof. Before they knew it, Santa was coming down their chimney. Let's see what happens next. So Gabe and Holly were waiting by the chimney as good old Saint Nick barreled down towards them. I see his boots. I see his bag full of gifts. And like that, Santa popped down the chimney and the kids got to see him in real life. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. I can't believe it. It's actually really, really him. Look, a bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. He was even more magical looking than they imagined. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose, like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. Do you think he has the art supplies I wanted in there? I really hope he has the science kit I asked for. <laughs> While the kids wondered about their gifts, Santa took a look around with a smile. Look, Gabe, I think he likes the note that you left him. He's laughing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Yeah, it was Def the reindeer joke that did it. I mean, come on, a reindeer walks into an ice cream bar? Yeah, yeah, Gabe, we all know that joke. You've told it like a hundred times. Meanwhile, Santa was making his way around the room, smiling at family pictures, filling stockings, and warming himself by the fire. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. Hey Santa, welcome to our house. We hope you're having a magical night. Whoa, he sees us. I hope we aren't in trouble. But a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Shh, he's unloading the presents. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And after Santa was done with all the presents, things got a little silly. He took off his boots and sat by the fire to rest. We didn't want him to miss out on our awesome Christmas cookies, so... Here you go, sir, or, er, um, Santa, um, St. Nick. Hello there, kids. Why, thank you so much. I made the green Christmas tree ones. They're lemon flavored. Mmm, these are delicious. The best cookies I've had tonight. Although I was in Italy and had some of the most delicious biscotti. Oh, 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 that was a Christmas treat. Whoa, that is so cool. And then in Holland, I had these scrumptious cookies called speculoos. Mmm, I wish we could go on a Christmas cookie world tour. Sounds like a sweet dream. <laughs> oh, do you want to play a game with us? It's our Christmas Eve tradition to play pin the tail on the reindeer. Well, it's not a real reindeer, just a paper one. They decorated a gingerbread house. They wrapped gifts for their presents. They drank hot cocoa. They played dreidel. They listened to Santa tell stories from the North Pole. Finally, the kids started to feel really tired. It was the middle of the night after all. Ho, 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 well, this was so much fun, kids. But I should get going. I have so many houses to visit before morning. Yeah, we should get to bed. Thank you so much, Santa. See you same time, same place next year. Sure, just keep yourself on the nice list and not that naughty one. Ho, 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 ho. Then you'll see me again next year. Say hi to Mrs. Claus for us. Will do. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. Come on, let's go look out the window. Hi, Rudolph. He sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like a down of a thistle. See you next year, Santa. Then I won't even bother my sister. I'll be well behaved, I promise. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, happy, happy Christmas, Christmas to, to all and to all, all a good, good night. night. Wow, you guys, that was seriously one of the most magical stories we have ever read at Cool School. Share this video with a friend who needs a little holiday magic and let us know in the comments below what other stories you want us to read together. You know it's my favorite thing to do. Bye, see ya.